Well, I guess that concludes all the maintenance I'm going to do on the truck this weekend. Each week uh, I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. So I put the toolbox there for now. It's sort of clean-ish. Ish. It's under the raindrop, so that should clean it more. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll show you what I did. Look at this nice line in the ground. See, I don't know if you can see it or not. But that sharp line in the ground. That thing is like the stone of triumph and the stone of shame at the same time. That's a heavy bastard. Uh, I basically oiled oil brush the top where I dragged it so it doesn't rust I was gonna drag it back into the field and leave it there but I, it might not work on my Ford F-150 that I have right now but my next truck is probably going to, depending on how this summer goes I might be the next truck might be a 3500 or a 2500 depending on how much lifting my truck's going to be doing and pulling and stuff so it's, I think it's just a little bit overkill for, like, I mean, you got to look at this, like, my thumb's an inch, my thumbnail's an inch, right, so that's two-inch tubing, like, I mean, that sucker's heavy, that's, that sucker's got to be at least 300 pounds, at least 250, 300 pounds, you can't lift it, and it's too awkward to, I'd end up damaging my truck trying to put it on myself, you need three guys, maybe four guys to, to safely put it on there, uh, and it's channeled on. It's one of those things that's not going to be a quick. Once it's on there, you got to. You can see where it was bolted before, which would be fine. But then it's on there permanently, right? I kind of want something. If I could actually, actually, that that's a perfect kind of representation. See how like, uh, like, if these things were panels, which you can get panels like that. I'll have to look around for them, like this. But maybe maybe come up to here or whatever. Just enough to maybe come up to the top of the cap, the cab and it's more just to hold things in like i could make them out of wood i could make them out of anything and i might even have enough mesh kicking around to to make some um make them out of the poles i, I don't know like but it's, i want something like but if i could buy something that looks good that'd be nice too but but i want i like the idea of having okay the box when i don't need it need it i could pull it out of the back within five minutes with all the tools and everything like that that's what I want on this. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna have to pop these out. See, I can go back to the junkyard and get those uh, pocket stakes uh, that just twist in. But I'd like to have these so I could just plop, plop, plop my, uh, like I say, maybe a side gate, maybe no higher than that, really. That'd be plenty high. Uh, I don't need to go like three feet high. Uh, just to be overkill. Uh, if I could get a lighter rack, maybe. Because a rack is handy because you can throw like ladders and stuff on top. And that, that would be very, very handy for me. But I could also, like if I have the light one, I could have like crosser pieces that I could put in that allow me to take ladders and stuff like that. So I'm not sure. Hey, what's going on over there? I just noticed something. My liner on the the window there. Better fix that. Remember, this is an old truck, eh? It's not new. Uh, so also, I got to keep everything cheap too. Yeah, so I don't like that. Okay, you get back in there, there, like so. Eh, see, that's how you fix it. But that's why you do maintenance on your truck every weekend. Like, how long has that been like that for? That means water would have been getting down in there. So I'll just have to be careful with that one. You know, get to know the vehicle, you know. So that's all sealed. That is a dirty window. That is a very dirty window. I won. Yeah. Okay, that works. But I gotta wash my windows. Truck's bringing out my inner child. Nice job, big red road beast. Well, hey, you see, <laughs> my hand's all dirty now. It's all that pollen on there. You can see, you can see like a yellow tinge to it. I, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It's like from a distance, my vehicle looks yellow. All the vehicles look yellow and all that pollen. But yeah, so I gotta maybe have to take another trip to the junkyard and uh, see what's going on there. Um. Depending on how my week's going to go, because I got to watch my budget, right? So this is going to be, uh, I'll have to make it June's budget. Uh, show you all the oil. Did the oil 
Eh, just a little oily, so that's good. I put my oil spray stuff in there. Did another batch of it. I am going to actually clean this thing. So on uh, June's budget, my goal will be to get the side racks or build them. I would like to get ramps, but before I get ramps, I want to get uh, at least two ball hitches, uh, uh, two ball or three ball hitches, and maybe two receivers for sure, like a, a straight and then a six inch drop or a four and a half drop, which is the two most common you're going to use. I've got to clean up my seven pin a little bit, my four pin. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, so um, I have my brake controller and everything in, in the cap, and it you know, every time I touch the brakes, it works. So, but I just, you know, those things sometimes need to get cleaned out and sometimes you got to replace them so i got to see see what works yet hey eh? so uh, i won't know until i hook up to maybe paul one of paul's trailers we'll see if my brakes work is if my seven pin's done then i gotta get another seven pin right so uh or four pin whatever he's got other than that things coming along got uh i did two boo boo well that one wasn't a boo boo that was uh the filter out of the lawnmower for my main guy but i, I uh, accidentally uh, brought home <laughs> it doesn't matter because we mainly do the whipper snipping and everything like that but if they go to do the whipper snipping and they run out of whipper snipper line accident accidentally stole another client's whipper snipper line i'll have to bring it back that strap a uh, thousand pound strap i've only used one out of the package just that one it's been used about 10 times 20 times in the last past week i swear to god so yeah things are coming along so that's you know, you, you can't get, like, you want to get it all done in one day, but you can't get it all done in one day. It's just, just the way the cookie crumbles. Better not rest against this dirty vehicle. But I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get a polisher too. Polish this thing up. Uh, I was going to try to attempt to oil spray today, but it's getting late in the day. And I did want to work on the bike a bit today, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Rome just wasn't built in a day. Saturday is going to be my maintenance day. Uh, so for people that want me to work on a Saturday we'll see how it goes if i have a free day during the week i i'd like to use that to do like you know like if i have to go and do some runs and stuff like that but you know you can spend the money faster than you make it so uh but I, if uh, june does as well as i did in in, in may that so so far let's recap uh yeah the other thing i gotta fix too is my chainsaws Where's my dad's chainsaw? Where did that chainsaw come from? Oh, he did get it going. It's a Husky Johnson. <laughs> Johnsert. It's a Husky Johnsert. <laughs> it's just like a mixed match. Yeah, he did get it going. Yeah, my brother found that one in the dump. I think all it needed was a new uh, pull on it. <laughs> Made it work. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a Frankenstein. Yeah, it is a Husky Johnson. I didn't, I didn't think the parts would be compatible, but I guess... See? It says Johnson. Johnson. Just the same as that one. That one. That one's a pretty good one. Or is this my dad's normal one? That's my dad's normal one. Yeah, that, that the sucker's all steel. That, that one's like, weighs like 20 pounds. It's heavy. Yeah, so the... Okay, the Husky parts fit on there. That's the one he found in the dump. I think he got that one going. That's a nifty little one, eh? A little home light. Yeah. Johnsert home light got a home light bar on a Johnsert. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Uh yeah, so like I said, uh, sorry. Just got an itchy ear. Hey little butterflies. So yeah, I got stuff to clean out in here. Uh the scrap metal pads are not ready to go yet. But they were just uh pouring the pads the other day. So that'll be interesting. But anyway, that's what I got going on. So I'll see what I got for June's budget. And then maybe I'll get my racks on there. There we go.